art could be more beautiful than real life. I would love when someone views my paintings to escape from their everyday life. I think it's important that, that there be a contemporary art style that's about beauty. Art is a very powerful venue to change the future. Painters can create and mock up a future for us and kind of say, here's a picture, here's the way I see the future, even if it's something as simple as, you know, preserving our national parks. To me, the outdoors have always been the most beautiful thing I could paint. And I look at a landscape almost like a multifaceted jewel that I'm trying to capture. As a viewer of Aaron's art, you get mesmerized by it and you lose your sense of awareness of even where, the, where you are, where, you're, where you are in that space. I mean, you're, you're actually into the painting. You're just almost like reliving a moment that seems very alive right there. It's almost like you can feel the spiky grasses, the wind prickling your hair. I try to capture all that in the landscape because I've been there so many times and experienced that so often. When Erin paints, she creates an image that you can live with for the rest of your life. There's nothing but the real person. I think it's really great that students are taking up my style and trying to capture the beauty of the natural world. The first time I came to the gallery, she had an exhibit and there was a painting and it was huge. I probably spent 20, 30 minutes that evening just staring at that one painting. It struck me that you could look at it and go, gosh, that's just beautiful. That's why Aaron's art spoke to me so much. It wasn't just the vivid colors or the beauty. Everything is outside. Everything is in the middle of nature. And those are the things in art that can transport us because of its beauty. It can fit into many types of interiors and environments. Sometimes very classic or traditional interiors, a piece like this would look amazing. She's making the modern aspect of Impressionism something that young people would love on their walls because they might you know, want the color and the vividness of it. I love the early morning because of the silence and just the quiet kind of pause before the world starts. Those little narrow moments of time where the whole world just lights up during the golden hour. That's my favorite time to paint. When it's time to paint, I just pick the color I want and I place it on the canvas using my brush. Each brush stroke goes down exactly where it was intended to go down. It's almost like placing little mosaic tiles on the canvas. She demonstrates the skill. She demonstrates the emotional, the insight. It's looking at the, at the basic, basic, the abstract elements behind a landscape. And your eye sees so much more of the landscape. You see the full panoramic of the scene. So that's what I'm trying to capture in my painting. When I say it's capturing a moment, it's actually kind of an emotional connection. There is nothing more original than the fact that the colors and that moment are coming from her brain and her experience. When people see my landscapes, I hear them tell their friends like, I've totally seen this. I've seen the mountains turn those colors. She has a quality in her paintings. 
you want to go there. You want to be in the middle of that scene. If I can bring that into one of my paintings, I feel like I'm pulling the viewer into my world.